Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. Now that we know what a network is or what you understand of a network, we have learned, okay, there are more ways to realize a network. And it was built in more ways. And I already said it was a big problem in interoperability so that if you buy network equipment from one vendor and from another vendor, it simply did not fit because they were too different. And so, Starting in 1977, 1977 yeah, there was enough chaos produced that people said, okay, that's enough. Yeah, we have to deal somehow with this. And they started to try to standardize things, bring some order into the chaos. Okay? And uh, beginning from 1983, the International Tele Telecommunication Union, I think it's called, uh, ITU, the ITU, uh, have produced a layer model, a so-called layer model, and starting from 84, 1984, uh, also the ISO, International Standard Organization, is publishing this standard. So they tried to segment or analyze things which are needed, and they said, okay, we will divide all the things in so-called layers yeah? and the, the main layers, the above layers, can use services of a an, an, an lower level yeah? and each level has a certain meaning, a certain purpose, serves a certain purpose. So, uh, like I said, uh, it's from uh, it's since 1983 standardized. We have seven layers. Lay layers are defined. What does it mean? Well, each layer has a certain certain meaning, a certain purpose, like I said. Uh, so there is one layer here, for instance. Yeah. This is layer one. And then here, here we have a layer one. Oh, so this is the communication partner. Layer one, by the way, is called physical layer and so on. And these two layers are communicating to each other. Okay? Directly. They are directly connected and they are communicating to each other. They can exchange information. That's layer one. Okay? Above, we have a layer which is called layer two. What is a good name for a second layer? Somewhere. I'm missing already again some colors. Use this one. So here we have a layer two. Right? And also here we have a layer two. From this point of view, yeah, from the real data is traveling that way. Yeah? So layer two will hand it over to layer one. Layer one will transfer it to here, and here we are going up. Okay, that is what is happening really. But this is the real data. But from layer two point of view, it directly looks like it is communicating with this communication partner. Huh? So this is a logical link here. Logical data. So this layer is communicating with this layer. Layer two with layer two. They are communicating with each other. Right? And layer one does not really matter. It's like 
in postal service, if I write a letter, I'm communicating with the one who is reading the letter and not with the postman or women. It's the transportation it does not really matter, all right? If it's by train, by bus, by ship, plane, whatever. Yeah. For me, we are communicating to each other. Layer 2 has also a certain purpose. Yeah? And so they defined seven layers. Right? So there is somewhere then layer 3. And also here, the real data is dropped and raised here, but a logical, logical communication is here. Three, two, one. Here the real data and this is logic data is the same. Yeah? And the good thing or a nice thing is that not all layers has to be implemented somewhere. Uh, so if we have here a station, let's call, uh, there's a second layer 3. There's a second layer 2. There's a second layer 1. But this actually is a physical unit with two physical ports then. Then the data can be handed over here, dropping down. Yeah? And here might be another communication partner. with its own layer. Layer 1, layer 2. Layer 3. All right? This one is handing over and we're going up. This is an, 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 an element in between. Yeah? Then we might have here layer 4. And we have here a layer 4. And now the data from here is reaching this layer 4. So now the logical data is directly connected to this. Yeah? So those two communication partners are communicating on layer 4 things with each other. All right. So it doesn't really mean that you have to, in every station, you have to unpack all those things. No, no, no. There, this is the, the big advantage of this, of this layer model. Each layer has its own unique purpose and can rely on the layers below to be functioning. So now I am going to finish this now because there is also a layer 5. Then we have a layer 6. And last but not least, we have a layer 7. 
and for each layer it looks like that they are directly communicating with the communication partner at the other station and does not really know the other layers. They know the interface to this layer, but what is happening in between, they really don't know. Right? And so we can get interoperability. So if for every layer is exactly defined what it means. Yeah? So every layer has a defined purpose and each purpose is fulfilled in a certain way. Yeah? Everything which is necessary for this layer to operate must be defined somewhere. Yeah? There are several definitions. Then we say, okay, we are on level one and we're defining this and this and this and this and this for this. Yeah? And this thing, which is, and, or we are on level two and we're defining this and this and this. And all those things, all those logical things which are defined is called protocol. of the layer. So there's a level 7 protocol, there are level 6 protocols, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, there is not really a protocol, but we will see. So that's the network layer model. And layer 3, a typical layer 3 protocol is, for instance, the IP, Internet Protocol. It is a typical layer 3 protocol, yeah? and there is defined a lot of things are defined, how to find, how a package can be delivered, and so on. Layer 2 uh, protocol is Ethernet protocol. Layer, Ethernet protocol is, is, is covering layer 1 and layer 2, for instance. Yeah. Uh, those protocols are well defined, yeah. and if you stick to the protocols, you can reach interoperability. Yeah. And suddenly, it does not really matter. From an upper point of view, if you're transferring this by cable in your Ethernet system or in your Wi-Fi system by radio, yeah? because this is handled somewhere in a, in a lower level. Yeah? What the levels mean, I will also briefly explain. So, now I have to use the same, the same color, layer 1. Okay, layer 1 is the so-called physical layer. There, all things are defined, cables and so on. I, we will go through this, just, it's the physical layer, there's the things you can touch, okay? Layer 2 is the data link layer. Here, the things we are dealing with is called bits or symbols. We have a cables, for instance, and things like they're called repeater, or I'm sure you heard hub, right? Things we are dealing here with, these things are called frames. And here we have a bridge, for instance, or sometimes we call it also switch. Huh? Well, here what this means? Huh? Switch. This is a typical, typical equipment used here. Yeah, this is the data format. Uh, then we have three network layer. Here we're talking about packets. 
And a typical thing working here is a router. A router. Then we have four transportation layer. Transport layer. Here we're talking about seg segments or datagrams. Yeah. These are the names of the layers. Five, five is the session layer. Six is the presentation layer. Mm -hmm. This one. Six is the presentation layer. And finally, seven is the application layer. Here we usually are talking always about it's just data anymore. Okay. Up to here, those things. Yeah. They're dealing with transport. And those things here, application oriented. This is application oriented. Transport oriented. And uh, those two things here below, uh, they are point to point connections. And everything above is end-to-end, -end, so multi-hop, multi-hop things, all right? So here, this is multi-hop. Those are the layer names. Some of the layer names already give you a hint what they are good for or why they are used, uh, for what they are used. Physical layer that they are, there's the physics and so on. Data link layer, mm, we don't know. Network layer, okay, sounds like here we have finally reached a point where we can exchange data and uh, to make this clear a little bit. In the next few videos, I'm going to explain each layer. Yeah? One video per layer. This will be the next videos. So, next video, layer one, physical layer. What is in there for us? Layer one. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.